Okay. Americans and Libyans are expressing outrage today over the deadly attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi. Four U.S. staffers, including Ambassador Chris Stevens, were killed. But an armed mob stormed the complex on Tuesday. Well, Libyan and U.S. officials suspect a small group of jihadists are responsible. And they believe the attack was not connected to a protest over an online movie ridiculing Muslims. Joining us from New York, Libyan-American writer and activist Nejla Abdulrahman. Nejla, first of all, your family is there in Libya. You've been talking to them. What are they telling you about what is taking place there? Well, everybody so far has expressed absolute condemnation, um, grief over what happened. Um, Ambassador Stevens was, was well-respected and well-liked in Libya, and everybody is just stunned about what happened um, and keen to emphasize that this attack in no way um, represents um, Libyan sentiments or feelings towards the Americans or towards the American government. Uh, is your family afraid of what is taking place there? When we see these pictures, it, it looks very violent. Uh, I know it's a very small group, but it, it does look rather frightening and alarming that what's taking place there. How does your family feel about it? Well, generally, they feel pretty safe. They're in Tripoli at the moment. And um, it, it's, it's interesting because when you're actually in Libya, and I just got back from spending three months there, on a day-to-day -day basis, you feel quite safe. However, things like this underscore that the security situation is actually a lot more tenuous than people um, can be deceived into believing and that the government needs to gain control over these various groups. Would you say that in Libya, uh, amongst the people there, that Americans are well liked? Absolutely, absolutely, no question. I mean, people came out into the streets yesterday in Tripoli and Benghazi to demonstrate and to emphasize that they reject wholeheartedly what happened, that this doesn't represent their values, and that they appreciate what Ambassador Stevens was doing for Libya, and they appreciate American support in the region or in the country. Does your family feel like they have the power to speak out, to speak publicly in support of Americans, in support of the ambassador, in light of this group that went after him? Absolutely, because this group represents the fringe of Libyan society. I mean, when, you, when you're speaking about numbers, it's almost negligible. The problem is that they're vocal and they're dangerous, and it's not even clear who these people actually are. But I can't emphasize enough, this is not just uh, an American problem. This is a Libyan problem. This is something that we've been dealing with in Libya. These sort of fringe groups who uh, use violence to, to impose their own attitudes or their own beliefs on Libyan society. I mean, it's been happening you know, it, over the last few weeks with the destruction of the, the mosques and the tombs throughout Libya, which has been universally condemned. Um, so it's not just an American problem, it's a Libyan problem too. And Najla, I understand that you actually had a chance to meet the ambassador several times, that uh, you got a chance to know him. Can you tell us what he was like? I had the chance to meet him on a couple of occasions to speak with him very briefly. He's v he was a kind man, he was very warm, very affable. Uh, he was known in Libya for liking to go out and mix with the people and talk to ordinary Libyans. He used to walk around Tripoli, you know, alone or with one other person, and it was kind of a point of pride that he could do that. And so it just makes it all the more devastating that this happened. What do you say to people um, here who, who obviously look at the United States and their efforts to help the Libyan people get rid of Gaddafi, to liberate mm -hmm. uh, their, their country, and, and see what is taking place now, uh, that these four Americans were killed, and you say it was a small group. But what do you say to them who think, why, why did we get involved? Was that even worth it? We apologize. I mean, the president of the Congress apologized. Several government officials have apologized. Frankly, this was a failure of the Libyan security to protect guests on Libyan soil. And so there's no excuse for what happened. Najla, we uh, wish your family safety and uh, certainly goodwill. And we appreciate your coming on. Thank you very much.